Let's start with pattern one, which I call the hexagon. It's called pattern one because the lowest note is the major root. And let's play it from the lowest note all the way up to the highest note in that position and back. Here we go. Now when I'm on top of the scale, I don't like to double up the note. I mean, you could do this, but I always feel like it gives me some sort of a break that in a musical situation I might not have, like a break to think where am I going to go from there. So I like to go up, turn right back around. So that's it from low to high and back. Now we also need to turn this around and practice it like this. Now what I like to do when I do these things is I like to say the note names. B, A, G, E, D, B, A, G, A, B, D, E, G, A, B. Um, what you could also say are the scale degrees. Three, two, one, six, five, three, two, one. Okay? Now we're going to do something interesting. We're going to do play, play it from the major root all the way up, all the way down, back to the major root. In this case, since it's pattern one, it's going to sound basically like our pattern. But we have two major roots in this pattern, so why don't I start it here? Gives you a better idea of what this exercise is about. It's really about ingraining where the root is in the pattern, because I can't stress enough how important that is so that we know how to use it correctly whenever the key is whatever it is. So we want to be ready. Here we go. So I'm starting on G, go all the way up, turn back around, go all the way down, and go back all the way up to my other root. Now let's do this also with the minor root because we're practicing two things in one here, basically. Two for the price of one. Here we go. Starting out on E. There's only one E in this, in this shape. So I'm starting here on the E. Go all the way up. All the way down. Back to my minor root. So you can do these exercises with saying the note names, you can say scale degrees in major, you can say scale degrees in minor. That's all very, very helpful. And uh, here's another exercise that really helps you uh, cement into your fingers, muscles here, uh, where the root is. And we're going to play the root between, in between every single note. So here we go. And now let's also do that with the minor so that we get the complete picture. Starting with the minor root. You can double the root if you want. And it's a great technical exercise if you can play these as legato, as slurred as much without a space in between as possible. That's a really nice technical exercise too because we get these string crossings here where you're basically playing a fourth. can be a little bit challenging, so I always try to sort of wedge my finger while I'm playing. I'm wandering, you know, so that I get a really legato shape out of these jumps. So we're doing a lot of string crossing here. Okay? All right, there you have it. There's pattern one.